Hello everyone, welcome to Vertical Kingdom, given to me by Farlight Games Industry. I have no idea what this is. It does remind me of another game from what I have seen from screenshots, but let's get started. I did a tutorial. Last time I didn't do the tutorial, thing put on for me. Welcome to Vertical Kingdom. Build cities on small lands by constructing over other structures. To start and end your turn, simply press the card deck button in the bottom right corner. Let's begin. Eh, begin building. Same thing. With each turn, you will receive a set of cards. To build, simply click, left click on a card, and then left click on the ground for another building. To deselect a card, right click. Okay, that seems straightforward. I guess they're all the same. Fair enough. As you build new houses, your game is citizens. Your goal is to collect as many citizens as possible to unlock new cards. Check the box to see the current number of citizens in your city and the number needed to unlock the next card. Let's keep building. Let's go here. No? But, wait. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong bit. Whoops. Building over existing structures is the key to success in Vertical Kingdom. The number of coins you earn when constructing a house is determined by its location and the type of buildings within the blue circle. Let's keep building and expanding our team. Ooh, that reminds me of Sky Merchant. Not that I've played it. Or is it Merchant of Sky Merchant? I haven't played that one yet. There we go. I can't build any higher though, okay. I can build higher there. Wait, what? What? Hang on. What do you mean I can't build higher here? Select the card and press buy to acquire it. Oh, so this is like a. Oh, this is like a. Ooh. Okay, I've done that. So, does this mean it's gonna pop up next? Or... Ah, there we go. Brick tower, build a brick. Building on top or at the side of any plan. Any higher says. Okay. But, oh wait, I've only four. Okay. So I can only build those ones on top of those ones. Cool. cool. Okay, so how do I know if I can buy another card at the same time? Because that's not right. Okay. How tall can we go? <laughs> Remember, I thought I was going to collapse. Congratulations on reaching a good amount of citizens. It's time to expand your empire by traveling to new places. Click on the map button to open the map menu. It's a terrible in the sky. Explore the new region to expand your empire and gain access to new resources and cards by moving to different locations. Keep in mind that moving to a new location comes with a cost, but it's worth it in the long run. Your main objective is to reach all the places, so let's get moving. Okay. Sea of Sand, end the earth. Congratulations, map completed. Did I get a fanfare? Guess not. I thought I lost points because I built a, diff a same house type by another one. Dear great architect of the glorious empire, while I understand that you may have aspirations to manage the capital, I must insist that I require your talents in other lands. The empire will provide all necessary resources for now, but eventually you will need to gather your own. Keep in mind that building over existing structures is crucial for creating a successful vertical kingdom. Start by constructing a small city and explore how to expand both vertically and horizontally to establish a prosperous metropolis. Best regards, the Empire. Emperor. <laughs> the Empire. Oh dear. Well, that works, I guess. Reaching the city, a population of 30. I'm not going to buy all cards. Fair yeah, enough. I suppose it'll tell me when it's ready. Okay, let's do. Okay, so I can't build on those bits, I can build... Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's go 
build another one here. And I wish I could build on that for some reason. A new card has been unlocked, you can buy it in the store. Fair enough. Let's get it. I didn't actually see what Halberchuck cost, but I guess it works at the same thing. I don't need to worry. Ah, here we go. Certain cards, such as the Brick Tower, have a special symbol that means the building can be constructed both horizontally and vertically. These cards serve as the backbone of your city, as they provide opportunities to expand and create more space for construction in this game building. Okay, so I could do horizontally here. Yeah. Ooh! I like how that looks. I can build on top of it. Anchors may appear on cliffs, which can be utilized to create more space for the cities. The tower houses are capable of taking advantage of anchors. Uh huh. Okay. How it's looking right now. Oh, I made it look really pretty. Let's choose cards to discard. Each card discarded will just decrease with one imperial point. I was I. Oh, okay. I see what I did. Okay. looks so precarious. I know I said I wanted to build with them, but that's not what I meant. I meant like on top, not there. That's worrying. Oh, I can zoom in. Nice. Anyway, guys, I am all out of time. Thank you so, so much, Farlight Game Industry, for allowing me to play Vertical Kingdom. I'm really liking the concept so far. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Balancy. Just a tiny bit, not much. I love the art style. I love the pixel art style. I'm wondering if there's different lands apart from just sandy areas. I'm gonna guess there is. And I really like the music, very atmospheric. I love seeing the little people running around. I'm wondering if I can look buildings later on that are not just houses, because it would be nice to see like in different places like castles, perhaps, parks, that kind of thing. But anyway guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, the small copy is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.